Triton 2D5 submarine launched nuclear ballistic missile test fired in the Atlantic. A nuclear-powered submarine from either the United States or the United Kingdom appears to have test-fired a UGM-133 Triton 2D5 submarine-launched ballistic missile SLBM, from Puerto Rico in the North Atlantic on Sunday night. The missile carried an unusual payload or hypersonic glide vehicle and was launched deep inside the Atlantic Ocean, but who pulled the trigger, US or UK? Only two navies, the US and the UK, have the UGM-133 Triton 2D5 submarine-launched ballistic missile in their arsenal. While U.S. Navy's Ohio-class submarines carry the Trident, U.K. Royal Navy's Vanguard-class boats have the same nuclear missile in their arsenal. But none of the two navies have till now issued any statement on the test firing. A nuclear submarine of either the United States or the Royal U.K. Navy likely test-fired a UGM-133 Trident 2D5 submarine-launched ballistic missile SLBM, in the North Atlantic on September 21, 2025. The missile test carried a hypersonic glide vehicle unusual payload, according to Russian media outlet Russia Today. The news organization added a nuclear submarine fired the Trident ballistic missile from deep inside the Atlantic Ocean. Neither the US Navy or the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom, the two forces which have the Trident 2D5 SLBM in their arsenal, have issued any statement on the test firing. A few days ago, a navigational warning for the period between September 17 to 22 was issued for the area where the test firing of Triton 2D5 SLBM in the Atlantic took place. A video of the alleged Triton 2 nuclear missile test, which took place at about 2325 Universal Time Coordinated, also surfaced on social media. One such post read, footage tonight from all over Puerto Rico captured the launch of what is believed to be a UGM-133 Triton 2 submarine-launched ballistic missile SLBM from either a U.S. or Royal Navy nuclear-powered ballistic submarine in the Northern Atlantic. No statement regarding any test has been made by the U.S. or Britain, though the object in the sky was confirmed to be a military test by the Caribbean Astronomy Society. The previous test firing of a Triton 2D5 took place four years ago on September 17, 2021, when the U.S. Navy conducted a scheduled, two-missile test flight of unarmed life-extended missiles from USS Wyoming, an Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine, on the eastern test range off the coast of Cape Canaveral, Florida. What is an UGM-133 Triton 2D5 SLBM? According to the U.S. Navy, the SLBM Triton 2D5 strategic weapon system is the planet's most lethal, accurate, and reliable sea-based strategic deterrent. The UGM-133 Triton 2D5 is the backbone of the sea-based leg of both the U.S. and U.K. nuclear deterrents. It is deployed on 14 Ohio-class submarines in the U.S. Navy and four Vanguard-class submarines in Britain under the 1963 Polaris Sales Agreement. Each Ohio-class boat carries 20 Triton II missiles, while the Vanguard-class carries 16. With a range of about 4,600 miles (7,360 kilometers), the three-stage solid-fuel missile can deliver up to 12 independently targetable warheads. However, arms control agreements limit current loadings to four or five. One of the most powerful nuclear missiles, the UGM-133 Triton II D5 SLBM, is deployed aboard U.S. Navy's Ohio-class and U.K.'s Vanguard-class submarines. There are 18 Ohio-class boats but only 14 of them are armed with Triton 2D5 while all the four Vanguard-class carry the nuclear missile following the Polaris sales agreement. A total of 20 Triton 2 missiles have abroad the Ohio-class while the UK Navy's Vanguard-class have 16 of them. With a range of 4,000 nautical miles, 4,600 statute miles, or 7,360 kilometers, each Triton 2D5 SLBM can carry up to 12 W76 MK4 MK4A or W88 MK5 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV warheads to target several enemy locations in a single launch. But the current treaties with Russia means each Triton 2D5 has only four or five multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRVs. The missile is a three-stage, solid-fuel, inertially guided projectile. It is one of the most important part of the U.S. and U.K. strategic nuclear deterrent triad. Built by Lockheed Martin, each missile costs about $30.9 million. It is 44 feet, 13.4 meters, long, 83 inches, 2.1 meters, in diameter, and weighs roughly 130,000 pounds, 58,500 kilograms. The U.S. Navy has begun modernizing its Triton arsenal to ensure its reliability through the 2080s. 
In January, Lockheed Martin announced a $383 million contract to develop the Triton 2D5 Life Extension 2 program, which will equip the Navy's new Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines. The Pentagon's 2022 Nuclear Posture Review urged accelerated investment in the Triton 2D5 Life Extension 2 to maintain the credibility of America's strategic weapons system as Ohio-class submarines retire beginning in the 2040s. The same year, a bipartisan Strategic Posture Commission report highlighted the importance of upgrading the system to deter rival nuclear powers. Britain's Dreadnought-class submarines are a new class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines designed to replace the current Vanguard class and maintain the UK's continuous at-sea nuclear deterrent. Britain's Dreadnought-class submarines, due to replace the Vanguard fleet in the early 2030s, are likewise expected to carry the upgraded missile. Officials in both countries say modernization of their undersea deterrence is critical as adversaries develop new anti-ship and missile defense systems. The sea-based leg of the nuclear triad provides stealth, mobility, and assured second-strike capability, a cornerstone of Allied nuclear strategy for more than four decades. As of Sunday night, neither Washington nor London had released details about the September 21 launch, leaving speculation over whether it marked the first flight of a modified Triton II with a hypersonic glide vehicle or an unpublicized routine test. Videos posted on social media showed a bright object streaking across the night sky at about 11.25 p.m. Universal Time Coordinated, with several clips recorded over Puerto Rico. Footage tonight from all over Puerto Rico captured the launch of what is believed to be a UGM-133 Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missile SLBM, from either a U.S. or Royal Navy nuclear-powered ballistic submarine in the northern Atlantic. The Caribbean Astronomy Society described the event as a military test but did not specify which nation was responsible. A navigation warning was issued for the region between September 17 and 22, covering the same area where the launch was detected. Most recently, Trident 2D5 submarine launched nuclear ballistic missile test fired in the Atlantic, but who pulled the trigger, US or UK? However, neither the US Navy nor Britain's Royal Navy, the only operators of the Trident 2D5, has publicly confirmed the test.